Hi, hello everyone. This is Priya Dashni, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR, College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am going to discuss about Management Accounting Unit 2. Ratio Analysis Introductions about Ratio Analysis and Interpretations of Financial Statement with the help of Ratio is termed as Ratio Analysis. Ratio analysis involves the process of computing, determining and presenting the relationship of the items or groups of financial statement. Meaning of ratio. A ratio is a mathematical relationship between two items expressed in a quantitative form. So this is called as a ratio. Next one is a modes of expressions of ratios. Ratios may be expressed in any one or more of the following ways. The first one is in proportion. In this type of expressions of amount of two items are expressed in a common denominator. An example of this form expressions is the relationship between current assets and current liabilities. Likewise, current assets divided by current liabilities. The 2 is to 1. The is is called as a proportions. So that is in proportions. Next one is a in ratio or time or co coefficients. In this type of expressions, by dividing one item by another is taken as a unit of expressions. Examples of this form, expressions of cost of sales divided by average sales. It says 8 times. The result expressed in a times based. 8 times. 8 times is the ratio between cost of sales and the stock. Next one is a in percentage. In this type of expressions, by dividing one item by another is multiplied by 100 to show the relationship in terms of percentage. For example, the relationship between net profit and the sales. Net profit divided by sales into 100. It is expressed the answer in 25 percentage. So these are the modes of expressions of ratios. Next one is a steps in ratio analysis. There is in a three tips. First one is a selections of relevant information. Next one is a comparisons of calculations of ratio. Finally, interpretations and reporting. What is the advantages of ratio analysis? Yes, the first advantage is forecasting. Ratio reveal the trend in a cost, sales, profit and other interrelated factors which will be helpful in forecasting future event marginal costing sorry managerial costing ratio can be used in instrumental control regarding sales cost and profit next one is, one is a facilitates the communications ratio facilitate to communicate the functions of management as a ratio convey the information relating to present and future in quickly measuring the efficiency facilitating the investment decisions useful in measuring the financial solvency inter firm comparisons so these are the advantages of ratio analysis next one is the limitations of ratio analysis practical knowledge the analysis should have the thorough knowledge and experience about the firm and industries. Non-availability of standards or norms. Ratios will be meaningful if they cannot be compared with the standard or norms except for a new financial ratios. Other ratios lack standard with the universal recognized. Next one is uh, accuracy of financial information. The accuracy of ratio depends on the accuracy of information derived from financial statement. Consistency in preparing the financial statement. Interform comparisons with the help of ratio analysis will be useful only if the form of uniform accounting procedures consistently. Otherwise, the comparisons may be useless. 
So these are the limitations of the ratio analysis. Next one is the classifications of ratios. The balance sheet ratios, there are having the three types, balance sheet ratios, profit and loss ratios, balance sheet and the profit and loss ratios. First we are going to talk about the balance sheet ratios. So these are under the balance sheet ratios, liquid, liquidity ratio, current ratio, proprietary ratio, debt equity ratio, fixed assets ratio, capital gearing ratio. Next one is the profit and loss ratios, gross profit ratio, operating ratio, operating profit ratio, expenses ratio, net profit ratio. These are under the profit and loss account ratio. Next one is the profit and loss and balance sheet ratio. Return on investment, return on shareholder spend, stock turnover, data turnover, credit turnover, fixed assets turnover, earning per share. So these are the classifications under the three types that is in a balance sheet profit and loss balance sheet and profit and loss ratios next one is a classifications by uses of ratios ratios of management ratios for creditors ratios for shareholders under the ratios for management operating ratio return on investment stock turnover data turnover debt equity ratio fixed assets turnover ratio creditors turnover ratio net profit ratio short term liquidity long term liquidity these are under the ratios of management account ratios under the creditors current ratio solvency ratio debt equity ratio credit as turnover ratio fixed assets ratio assets covered interest covered ratios for shareholders return on shareholders fund payout ratio capital gearing ratio dividend covered ratio dividend yield ratio these are the types of the ratio analysis Thank you.